Hello everyone. In this video, we will see another use case of Flow Designer. This was a question asked in an interview, and it is pretty straightforward and very easy to explain. So let's quickly jump into this video. My name is Hardeep Singh, and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. So this is the use case which was asked in the interview, and I have converted this into a Jira story. So the use case is as a service now admin, I want to close all the rhythms that are the requested items which have not been updated since last one year, and their related tasks as well, so that old rhythms and SE tasks don't keep hanging in service now forever. So it was a very straightforward use case. It can be done through scheduled job or through Flow Designer. But service now recommends now using Flow Designer, so we will go ahead and see how can we implement using Flow Designer. I'm in my service now instance, and if you see here, this is the list of all the requested items which are in my service now system. So there are five as of now, and there is only one requested item which was updated two years ago. Others are just updated recently. So I update the quantity of all these rhythms so that they don't get closed, and only the last one ending with double zero four gets closed when we run our flow designer. To create our new flow designer, I will click on new. I will click on flow. We are in the workflow studio where we can create all the processes, all the flows, subflows, and so on. I will again click on create new and flow. We can name the flow as auto close rhythms. And I will click on submit, and we have to make this as a scheduled job. So I will add a trigger here, and I can schedule it for daily, weekly, monthly. So it depends on your requirement. I will keep it as daily, and I will keep the time as 1 p.m. I will click on done. I will explain the logic a little bit. What we will be doing in this flow. So first of all, we will have to fetch all the rhythms which have not been updated in last one year. And after that, we have to loop into their related tasks as well, and we have to close their tasks and as well as the rhythms also. So this is the basic logic which we will be creating here in the flow. I will click on action, and I will search for lookup records. So here we will be looking up records which have not been updated in last one year. So I will select this lookup records. I will choose the table name as sc underscore req underscore item. So this is the table where all the requested items are stored in service now. And here we have to put two conditions. The first condition would be state is not already closed, or we can say state is not one of close complete, close incomplete, or close skipped. And after this, we will add another condition where we will check the updated time. So updated. Should not be in last one year, so we will choose relative here, and I will expand this a bit. And before and here, I have to select one, and maybe year and ago. So this condition would return me only tickets which have not been updated in last one year, and the status of those tickets should be pending, open, or work in progress. I will scroll down. I will click on done. And now we have to loop through this requested items. For that, I will use flow logic. I will select for each, and I will bring in the data elements here. I will drag and drop requested item records. So we will be traversing through these requested item records. I will click on done, and now we have to again look up records which are under this particular requested item. So in this loop, we will be picking up one requested item each. And then we will be looping into their related catalog tasks. So I will use here action again, and I will search for lookup records, and I will click on this. I will search for table sc underscore task. I will not put any condition here Th that is not needed. But if you want to put any condition, we can put maybe state is not one of close complete incomplete and close skipped. I will remove this pending. So if it is not already closed, we will go ahead and close them. I will scroll down. I will click on done, and now we have to close this particular record in the loop again. I will click on flow logic. I will click on for each. I will scroll down here. 
I will drag and drop these catalog task records in this for each loop. I will click on done and now I will click on action to update those catalog tasks. So I will click here on update record. I will drag and drop catalog task record which is under for each loop. The table is automatically selected here and after this I will go ahead and change the state of this catalog task to close incomplete because this task wasn't completed and then maybe I can update the work notes as well. I can say closing due to inactivity in last one year. I will click on done and now in this loop from line number 4 to 5 all the catalog tasks which are under this particular RITM would be closed and after that we would also want to close the rhythm as well. So we will write a new action under this loop under line number 2 for each item of requested item. So I will write that here and I will select again update record. After selecting the update record action now we have to update the RITMs. For that I will drag and drop requested item record which is under for each. So I will drag and drop the record here and I will update similar fields which we updated in the catalog task. So state close incomplete and work notes and we can write here maybe for example closing the RITM because of inactivity in last one year. I will click on done and now our flow is ready. I will save this. So please note I haven't activated it. So until I activate it this will not run daily and before I click on test I will go ahead and show you this RITM. If I click on this RITM it's in work in progress and if I scroll down at the bottom you would see I have created a task manually and the state is open. I will click on test and I will click on run test again. It will take few seconds to process and if you see this has completed I will click on the execution details and you would see the state is complete and th these are the logs which were generated. If we go to the RITM you would see the state has now changed to close incomplete which is correct. The notes have been updated to closing the RITM because of inactivity in last one year. If I click on SC task you would see the state is close incomplete and the work notes have been updated to closing due to inactivity in last one year. So we were able to close our RITM successfully and related tasks as well. So I will take you back to the requested item table and we should see no other request should have been closed. So this was the rhythm which was just updated it will show me one minute ago. However if you see other RITMs those haven't been closed. I will just bring in the state field as well for the confirmation. I will click on OK and you would see only the first one has been closed and others are still open. So this is how you can create a job on Flow Designer to automatically close all the rhythms which have been not updated in last one year and close their related tasks as well. I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new and it will be really really helpful for those people who are learning ServiceNow and Flow Designer from start and who are also preparing for ServiceNow interviews. So this, can, so this can be asked as a real world question. Thanks for watching video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Thanks for watching.